the tibia is much the larger of the two bones. The shafts of the two bones are covered by muscles, except for the anterior medial aspect of the tibia, which lies directly beneath the skin, all the way from the knee to the ankle. The proximal end of the fibula doesn't form part of the knee joint, but its distal end forms an important part of the ankle joint, as we'll see. The tibia and fibula are held together throughout their length by the strong interosseous membrane. Above and below, they're attached at the two tibiofibular joints. The proximal tibiofibular joint is a synovial joint. The distal one is a fibrous joint. There's very little movement at either of these joints. Distally, the two bones are strongly held together by the anterior tibiofibular ligament and the posterior tibiofibular ligament. The projecting ends of the tibia and fibula, which stick out on either side of the ankle, are called the medial malleolus and the lateral malleolus. The articular surface for the ankle joint is a broad notch formed by the curved under surface of the tibia and the inner surfaces of the medial malleolus and the lateral malleolus.